Silicon Motion announces results for the period ended December 31, 2023. Silicon Motion Technology Corporation, NASDAQ GS, CMO, today announced its financial results for the quarter ended December 31, 2023. For the fourth quarter of 2023, net sales, GAAP, increased sequentially to $202.4 million from $172.3 million in the third quarter of 2023. Net income, GAAP, increased to $21.1 million, or $0.63 cents per diluted American depository share of the company, ADS, GAAP, from net income, GAAP, of $10.6 million, or $0.32 cents per diluted ADS, GAAP, in the third quarter of 2023. For the fourth quarter of 2023, net income, non-GAAP, increased to $31.3 million, or $0.93 cents per diluted ADS, non-GAAP, from net income, non-GAAP, of $21.1 million, or $0.63 cents per diluted ADS, non-GAAP, in the third quarter of 2023. Our fourth quarter results exceeded expectations as demand across the majority of our products increased sequentially, driven by holiday season demand and normalizing channel inventory, said Wallace president and CEO of Silicon Motion. Both IMC plus UFS and SSD controller demand grew strongly in the quarter. We are confident that our team's ongoing commitment to deliver controller solutions that enable our customers to service a broader range of markets will continue to drive share gains for us and be the foundation for strong growth in 2024 and beyond. During the fourth quarter of 2023, we had $9.5 million of capital expenditures, including $3.5 million for the routine purchase of testing equipment, software, design tools and other items, and $6.0 million for building construction in Singchu. Acquisition Update On May 5, 2022, Silicon Motion and Max Linear, Inc., Max Linear, entered into a merger agreement, the merger agreement pursuant to which Silicon Motion agreed to be acquired by Max Linear Alt with a holders of Silicon Motion ordinary shares par value 1 cent each a share to receive $23.385 in cash and 0.097 shares of Max Linear common stock par value $0.0001 Max Linear common stock for each share that they hold other than certain customary excluded shares, and, b, ADS holders to receive $93.54 in cash and 0.388 shares of max linear common stock for each ADS that they hold, other than ADSs representing certain customary excluded shares, in each case, with cash in lieu of any fractional shares of max linear common stock, collectively, the transaction. On August 31, 2022, Shareholders at Silicon Motion's Extraordinary General Meeting of Shareholders approved the transaction. On July 26, 2023, Silicon Motion and Max Linear received antitrust approval from the State Administration for Market Regulation of the People's Republic of China, SAM approval. Shortly after receiving SAM approval, Silicon Motion received notice from Max Linear of its purported termination of the merger agreement. Max Linear did not provide any factual basis for its purported termination, and Silicon Motion believes its actions constituted a willful and material breach of the merger agreement. Silicon Motion has filed a claim in the Singapore International Arbitration Center, which is the venue for dispute resolution under the merger agreement, and is pursuing payment of the termination fee of $160 million, together with further substantial damages, interest and costs. Business Outlook We expect sustained growth across our business in 2024, driven by wins with our module maker customers and significant design wins and share gains with our flash maker customers, as they look to outsource more controllers to effectively address a broader range of end markets, said Wallace, President and CEO of Silicon Motion. We are confident that our strong backlog and project ramps will be the foundation for strong growth this year.
These new wins for ARM plus UFS and SSD controllers will grow our relationship with our FlashMaker partners this year and increase revenue from these customers by approximately 50%.